Square V LED video products. And today I'm going to show you the unboxing of a Novastar M Control 4K processor. I went ahead and sped up this first part so you didn't have to painfully watch me open up the shipping box. And that just opens to reveal the Novastar box inside. You lift up two tabs on that and then fold down the top of the box. And inside, at the bottom center, you'll see an accessories box. Now I pull that out and there is a packing list inside of this accessories box and it tells you that they include a USB, HDMI, display port, and Cat5 cable. Okay, now we'll take it out of the plastic and I'll go back to the live audio. All right, this is the front of the 4K. Looks pretty cool, it's got the button there, pushes in and also spins, back button, USB and power. Okay, here's the back of the Novastar M-Control 4K. At the top, you can see there are 16 outputs to your LED wall. In the bottom left, you have the section marked Control, and you can use either an Ethernet or USB cable to connect your computer to the unit, and that way you can update firmware or set up your wall using the Novastar software. And you, you see the Genlock in and loop. And then the inputs over here, you have DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI 2.0, and two dual DVIs. And then right here, uh, we like to say that this unit is fiber capable, not fiber ready. You do need four 10 gig SFP modules to go in there in order for it to be fiber ready. Um, but it is fiber capable. And then power cord, and that's how you turn it on. So let's plug it in and turn it on. Here's the front screen menu on the M-Control 4K. You hit that center button to get into the menu and this wheel to go up and down through the options and hit the back button to go to the previous uh, menu screen. So let's go ahead and look at what we have here, what options we have. Brightness is the top menu option and you can hit the center button and then scroll up and down to increase or decrease the brightness. Hit back, go down to input settings, input mode, Input resolution, presets in here, you can change the refresh rate, go to the resolution, it goes all the way down to 4K, resolution, back, 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 back. Screen settings, quick config, advanced config, image offset, put in your starting X and Y coordinates. Display control, all the way to image settings here. Back, back, advanced settings, Load cabinet files, alarm threshold, redundancy, there's your firmware, it says hardware, but firmware version. Back, communication settings, and language. That's all. All your settings, all the menu options.